Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Hermit Skies on the Project Ozone Light Pack and today look at our base, isn't it looking beautiful? It looks a little bit like a UFO or something, I actually referenced it to uh, uh, the Jetsons, I thought it sort of looked like the right kind of shape, sort of, but anyway you catch me right in the middle of building and I was like why on earth not start recording right now and tell you guys what I'm up to. So today's episode, seeing as though I haven't recorded a Hermit Skies in a little a while is possibly gonna be a preparation video it's gonna be one where I'm working on making this base look a little less terrible because honestly it, it, it's looking rough around the edges let's say I mean I've got the shape there I've got my spots for different things and I've sort of started on you know making the outer sort of areas uh well i haven't because today i have um but today i wanted to make a little area for the portal because the portal is just currently just chilling there and we can't really work on this area here if we've got stuff in the way so my plan for today was to move this to its own island and if we can design this island properly we can start adding other ones as well and my idea was to make lots of little islands for different things around the base so if we can get the first design down for one of them and then we can very very easily i'm just gonna say copy paste but actually we might actually even be able to copy paste i don't know if that's possible uh, i'm guessing with something like the builder you possibly could i don't know if that's possible but honestly i'm gonna be live streaming this probably this evening anyway so I can probably just build it on live stream and that'll work. So yeah, I'm building basically a mini version of this over here. And at some point we'll have maybe... Oh, you know what? We could do... There are invisible blocks, aren't there? Or, uh... Invisible. There are invisible... Yeah, invisible blocks. How do we make these again? Okay, you need to make the machine chassis. Um, like so. Which is a lot of iron. Yeah, and, and, and a few of those. Uh, which is fine. There are also force field sort of things, right? Now, I don't know actually how to make those. <laughs> By searching force, that doesn't seem to be uh, the way. Uh, there are some actually, if I go to, I reckon this teleport will work? Yeah, to spawn. There are these things over here we go. These look pretty sweet, don't they? The solid shield blocks. How do we make those? Solid shield block. Uh, I don't. That, that, that's not how how I do it, right? Uh, solid. No shield. Have I spelled shield wrong? I have. Uh, shield templates. So it's RF tools. I'm guessing. So we could possibly use those because those look really good. Now I think they probably require power. Oh, massive lag spike. I don't know what someone's been doing on the server right now, but. It's causing me a lot of lag. But yeah, those could look cool. Now, I don't know what colour to go with. It's blue. The grey might be quite nice. Is this light grey? doesn't tell me what colour it is. But anyway, that's all one idea. So anyway, I'm going to finish off building my little island for the for the main nether portal. And uh, we'll see how it looks. So I'm going to be honest, it's been a little bit of a while since I last recorded the last clip, but I have been a little bit busy, I've done a few more things, and by a few, I mean very much a few, not, not a lot. Um, I actually have marked out where the other two ones go, but I've built these two right here. Now this one doesn't have the bottom part, but it doesn't really matter just yet, as long as I've got the platform to build on. And I think what I'm going to do with that one over there is actually finally, finally get around to moving this guy. This guy here, which is currently full of probably aluminium bras. Yeah, just two blocks of that. So let's get that out of there. Let's get these guys out as well. And yeah, I've been meaning to make an island specifically for smeltery, uh, smeltery over somewhere. And I'm going to, I think, build it over there. Or maybe even... Mm, there, maybe here, maybe opposite, because then these side ones technically could be bigger or could go further out or be like a little crossroads maybe. Yeah, these being a crossroads would be cool. That's sort of like the middle of the crossroad, then it goes that way, then it goes that way, and then it goes that way. And with this one, obviously, the, the straight ahead would go straight to the dome over here that I still haven't fixed, which should still be filled with snow golems. It is. 
Yes, so um, I do want to get the building aspect of my base up and running because once I think I get the build aspect and I've got places to actually put things because that's sort of the problem when you build in the sky, you sort of, yeah, you don't really have anywhere to build anything. I mean, you do, you have plenty of room. In fact, you have the most room ever, uh, or at least the easiest room ever to build anything. But at the same time, there's nothing actually there to physically build on. You sort of have to build in the sky, uh, which angel blocks help with that, but... It's very, very difficult. Also, that has appeared, but I'm not going to get onto that right now because hopefully maybe there's an episode before this one where I play that or an episode after this one where I play that. I don't know. I just need to find some hermits that are up for that. Also, something I've noticed since logging in on is that um, I somehow have my nether coordinates uh, on the markers. But when I open up the waypoints, it, they don't show, so I can't get rid of them. And I don't understand. Like... Also, I don't know what NF mean and stuff. I, I, those aren't ones I've placed myself. Nether Fortress near, that's one I've placed myself. But yeah, I don't... I don't understand. Has a buggy thing happened? But I don't, I don't know how to get rid of them, basically. So apologies for those. But anyway, I'm going to go over and build that island over there. And we'll move this guy over there today as well. And we'll start figuring out the plan for this base. Because I do want to not give up. Not giving up yet. Not give up on this series, but 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 hey, it it it's possible. But I'm gonna try my best, guys. Just know that I'm gonna try my best to keep the series running and and keep having fun and coming up with cool projects to do on Hamis, guys. Because I am honestly looking forward to it. Uh, hopefully, having a cool looking base in the end. Oh, also, there's this new thing where nighttime doesn't actually last. It just goes around like that until it's daytime again, which is. Sort of weird. Gonna be honest. I mean, it's cool, but it is weird when the when the stars start like just rushing past you. <laughs> it's sort of like I'm time traveling, but I'm actually not getting anything done faster, which is sort of th th a shame because that this would be nice to get this done a little bit faster. Because placing these blocks like this in a random assortment isn't helpful because I can't actually use the wand. Yeah, what a genius idea that was. So as much as I don't use this thing too much anymore, I do like to use it, um, and I do want it to be practical, so I've sort of built it not quite in the centre, that is definitely lined up though, right? Yeah, there we go, so I've built it there, I'm actually going to put another seared tank on it there, I'm going to make this side completely for basins so I can get full blocks out of things, and this side over here, when I get around to it, I'm going to build um, this just for casting tables, because they're the two things that you mostly use with this. Now, the problem is it sort of doesn't have a floor, well, underneath it, it doesn't have anything, but uh, I've got my magnet on, so I should be okay, shouldn't lose anything. We've put slabs on top so it's not spawnable, and yeah, I just need to get myself some more things to quickly add to it, and uh, then we'll be done. And I might make it a little bit taller, slash maybe a bit bigger as well. But I'm, I'm digging it. There's a lot of space for me to build some cool stuff around the front of it. And uh, hopefully that will look pretty sweet. So it's now finally time to work out how these shields work. Now I sort of actually want to test these out. Now let's have a quick read of this. This machine forms a shield out of adjacent template box blocks. It can filter based on type of mob and do various things, damage solid. Uh, use the smart wrench to add, to add sections. Oh, there's a smart wrench. Okay, so that's RF tools. So let's have a look at RF tools to see what the wrench is. That's the smart wrench. Can we make one of them? We can. Nice and easy. So I've made myself a couple things to try this out. Uh, we've got a shield projector tier one because I looked up what the tiers actually mean. And basically, I don't know if I actually said it on here or not. Uh, tier, let me see if I can spell correctly. There we go. Oh. Will I be able to find it in here? Possibly, yeah, here we go. So basically it says supports 256 blocks, 1,000, 4,000, 32,000 basically. So it just basically supports more and more blocks. They're not expensive to upgrade really, uh, although I've clicked on some different things. I guess these diamond shards are more expensive and then, you know, if you want to do that one, 32,000 blocks. Yeah, nether stuff. Know the stuff. So I might actually see. I don't know how far these go out though. That's the problem. I wonder if I can like do that. So the idea is you make these shield uh, templates, and then oh, and I think they have to be attached. Basically, look at this. We've got it going. So I've changed. Okay, you can change the color. Um, that's going to be yellow. That's going to be 
grey, which is I think the colour we want to go with possibly, at least for now, until we get a colour scheme going. And we can change the sort of the the look of it as well, so that we can make it transparent. That one's that one's just basically like a glass block. We can do a solid. There you go, we can get a solid shield. We can do an invisible one as well. So I can jump up here and just basically float, which is pretty cool. And yeah, it's just generally really, really cool. And all you need to do with the smart wrench is just right click on it. So uh, that has obviously needed some power. It's been using it there. I have just chucked a little transceiver next to it and it basically works. So what I'm going to do is we're going to test it out here. I mean, I'm not going to have... Actually, where do we want the... Hmm. Oh, actually, yeah, I don't know how to... How do I like connect this without using a shield? Uh, don't know. Let's just put it here for now. Oh, I think that was a glowstone I just got rid of. Oopsie. So let's sort of do this and get a bit of a strip here. Now I want to make this a bit wider, obviously. Uh, in fact, yeah, I made that the same height. Okay, and then what I want to do is right click on that and it's gone invisible. It's not what I wanted. I think I want it to look like a shield. There we go. Look at that. So that is basically what we've got going on. I don't actually mind that block being there, it looks quite cool. But, I think we need to hide that somehow, and I don't know what the best way of hiding it is. Can I put it in a painter and paint it to look like something else? Oh, I've got an extra block somewhere. Don't know. Don't actually know where that came from, but we can chuck that down, and then what we can do is right click, oh, right click, right click, and it'll connect that one as well. Perfect! So, don't get them test this out see if we can make a decent looking thing and if it looks good or not and uh, we'll figure it out and uh, yeah then I'll leave it up to you guys to vote whether or not we should change the design up or make something a bit different but I do think which is a bit worrying that I need to get myself some shears and I need to get myself some sheep now do I have sheep possibly I need to breed some sheep up guys it's gonna oh you know what you know what? Let's get rid of some of these guys and instead put a uh, put a sheep soul vial in there, which is down here. Yeah, let's get a sheep in the spawner. And that'll work super well. Let's do it. My base looks super weird from down here as well. Look at that. That is ridiculous. <laughs> looks cool though. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. I've got high hopes for this base. Hopefully it'll look cool in the end. Okay, moment of truth. I haven't got quite enough um, of the old... Uh, what is it? Wool that I need. Um, but I've got a few, a few sheep going. Yeah, imagine that all the way along. That'll be cool, right? I think that'll look cool, actually. Yeah, that'll be nice. Um, but we do definitely need to get on with some other things because otherwise this isn't going to look nice just by itself, is it? Just everything's looking very, very plain at the moment, which is not what I want. I want to add detail, but uh, I also need to keep up with the modded stuff that I need to do. I also need to just tidy things up. I need to add glowstone to these blocks so that I don't need torches. I need to just make everything super duper tidy. But in here is looking a lot better. Like, look how cool this looks. And what I'm going to do probably in here is make it super natural looking, or at least more more natural looking. I'm going to have to be careful with lighting here. I'm going to get rid of accidentally uh, some of the glowstone blocks that are in here. Because, yeah, there aren't any torches in here, because we do have some glowstone painted blocks, which is super, super nice. But I think if we sort of break it up a little bit and make this area super green in here, it won't look... S my, my base won't look so grey, because it's, it's looking... This is looking very grey. So I'm going to get on with this a little bit. We might have this black grass growing instead. I'm not sure how this works or if it's any good. I do have a silk touch pickaxe that I can pick it up with, I guess, uh, if it's necessary. In fact, I might actually go and do that. Just in case I need black grass for anything. I don't know if it's used for anything. But, um, yeah, we can't be having that grow because we definitely do not need any black grass up in here. I also may have just accidentally got rid of this. Is that going to be a problem? Where's the centre here? No, okay. Oh, it still works. Okay, good. Good, I was worried that, like, moving that thing was going to cause issues. But it seems okay. Awesome. Right, just hopefully this grows quick enough. Okay, I've just noticed something super weird. If I right-click these shears, these shears of winter, 
uh, this happens, and then these sheep have, like, potion effects? I thought maybe holding it would, uh, oh, it does! Oh, it does shear them! So I'm just standing here and do this. Woo, it's snowing! Oh, do I have to point towards the sheep, maybe? I have no idea how this works or what's happening, but it, it's sort of cool. I was also hoping this rancher would, uh, like, actually, you know, ranch these guys. I'm guessing it milks them? I actually don't know. I, like, actually don't... I actually don't know. She probably looked it up, uh, really, saying that. But, um, that's fine. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We're just, we've got enough sheep in there. They've got grass. They can grow their wool. I've got these shears of winter. We are good to go. Um, I should be able to make a few more of these shield blocks. Perfect. That might even be enough to finish off the one shield. I want to get at least one done. Oh. Although, oh yeah, because it ran out. I didn't actually add the power source. Oopsie. Uh, let's plop that desk down there. There you go, and it pops back. Yeah, this isn't quite enough, but um, it'll be enough to get the majority of this done, so we should be able to see exactly what it's going to look like, hopefully. Yeah, that looks sweet. Awesome. I don't really like the, the difference between that and that, but... I don't know, we'll make it work at some point. Maybe we'll mix it up and sort of put some of these in here and, you know, make it make it sort of work at least. But um, I'm glad that I can stand on this. This is pretty sweet. We'll have to just hide it at some point. But uh, we'll get them up and working first because, uh, yeah, it's better to have something that doesn't look 100% like you want it but is actually, you know, actually works than nothing at all. I got it working. So the rancher needs to... Uh, face into them. Uh, this didn't work before. I don't know what I must have done wrong before when I tried this, but either way, it doesn't matter. It's working now. I uh, should hopefully be able to put this on... Oh no, I can't. Yeah, I can put that on push. Then it goes into there. Oh, sweet. Okay, I don't really want that many sheep though. Uh, we'll get a couple more and uh, we'll leave it doing its thing. And then we should have plenty of wool. Oh, plenty. No, this is that, there we go. They're the same colour, okay? The shears and the wrench are the same colour. I'm sorry I'm clicking the wrong thing, it's fine. But it's working now, so we can get all of the shields all the way around, and our base is going to look sweet today. I'm just so looking forward to it. I just need to make some more uh, power and all that kind of jazz. So I've been a busy bee. I have finally, I realised that one of these quarters over here <laughs> on this big circle didn't have the wide bricks, so I have fixed that. We have fixed all of the shields we've got four shields or four sets of shields um and they're all working they're all just you know working pretty well i do want to make it so that it costs less to have these because obviously a test uh not tesseract a transceiver right below each one of them that's quite not expensive but it's a pain in the butt to keep having loads and loads of those around the place also, it doesn't look super neat and tidy, so ideas for that would be great. I'm actually planning on adding another shield possibly here too. But what's nice is that I can plan stuff with these and then... Oh, I didn't realise you could just hit them. Oopsie. Uh, that's cool though. Uh, nice and easy to get rid of if we need to. But yeah, so uh, I'm getting ideas and stuff. So what I've been doing is sort of flying around the area. I really like that that's all grass in there. I want to make that look nicer maybe add some more like plants or i don't know what i'm doing in here yet i did a try path blocks like in a crisscross with all of these do open doors but i don't think that's a good idea and i think at some point we'll only have one door open and it'll just be sort of maybe even a wildlife area will have like a sort of something tr stopping uh yeah if we can get an invisible shield okay ideas just come to me invisible shield here that only allows players through, not mobs. Because then we can get some animals in here and they won't be able to actually get out, which will be quite cool, actually, I think. Because we've got animals down below. We've also got this little skeleton horse over here. Uh, it would be nice to have sort of a, a natural little area. And then I hop in here to go down. And Although, actually, yeah, I think in that case we'll have to have all four open because then it's ease of access. Now, I've got a couple sheep in here. In fact, wait. Oh, yeah, I do have a couple sheep. That guy's hiding there. He's like... You don't see me, folks. You don't see me. I'm just hiding on top of the zombie head. Uh, but yeah, this has worked out pretty well in here. I've just uh, left it for now. And the sheeps have escaped, which is not great, but hey. Uh, so yeah, I'm trying to actually think up what other design aspects I want to do. And also, the biggest question I have for you guys, 
by the way, and the most most thing the thing I need most of the answers for is what do I put on these these things? Like what do I I I, I want to move this mob farm over here. Uh, this one that's got the cursed earth um, and lots of mobs. I want to move that and make that look cool and put that somewhere. So I might do that on one of these and possibly have like a, I've seen a lot of people do it like a U-shaped mob farm that's the same sort of thing as that one. And then you can hit them as you go around and all that kind of good stuff. That might work quite nicely. Um, I also want to obviously decorate the smeltery and the nether... Um, Portal, that's the word I want. Portal 1. I also need to extend these down, like so, and add a bit more detail. I don't want to add leaves just yet, because, <laughs> as you guys know, leaves are a thing. In fact, wait a second, are there, like, even, like, like weird leaves? I've got infested leaves. I don't... Mmm, spectre leaves, they're quite cool. What is a spectre, though? Ooh, spectre is Britannia. Interesting. Let's see what's a, what's a spectre, then. Spectre... Sapling, spectre wood. How do I get a spectre tree in the first place? That's the question. It's quite a nice uh, color, actually, like, like pale blue. But yeah, I'm pink, so either I could change that to a different color, or we can add decor that is pink in color, perhaps around the place. I don't know yet. I don't know. Definitely want to sort out these pathways, though. Make everything a bit more organized. Sort out, you know, decorate around these or something. Make these look a little less rough because some of these have like lily pads around them. Some of them have like uh, the growth crystals. It's all a bit of a mess, isn't it? So just suggestions down below to help me tidy up this place and get some projects on the way with uh, different islands and different mod packs or different things on each one. Uh, the sheep wants to come say goodbye as well. Goodbye, Mr. Sheep. Oh, he's literally going. Uh, but that is it, guys. Leave a like if you enjoy. Subscribe if you haven't already. From me and Mr. Sheep over here, I'll catch you guys in the next episode. See ya! When Stanley approached the end of the video, he clicked the subscribe button.